Nowadays, many people, especially the younger generation, fail to see the importance of abstaining from sexual relations. However, this is a matter of great significance, not only to God, but also to society, even if some do not acknowledge it. As human beings, we do not have the authority to set rules about sex based solely on our personal beliefs because sex was created by God and will remain significant regardless of how we feel about it. In this video, we will explore the spiritual impact of engaging in sexual relations outside of marriage. Please like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content like this. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that many people today view sex as a recreational and casual activity, which is a misleading conception. Sex was not designed solely for pleasure. It was created by God to be enjoyed within the bounds of marriage. Marriage is a sacred commitment, and sex reinforces this bond, uniting the couple in a deep and spiritual way. God has placed such a high value on sex that he designated it to be practiced only within marriage. In the spiritual realm, sex is a form of exchange, which is why when two people engage in it, they exchange parts of themselves and become one. Furthermore, when we sincerely reflect on the teachings of the Bible, we realize that they are truly for our own benefit. No biblical guidance exists to harm us. On the contrary, they protect us. For example, the Bible teaches us not to steal, which is clearly beneficial for us. Not stealing protects us and keeps us free from legal and social punishments, just as adhering to the rules about sex protects us from negative consequences. Many people who have engaged in sexual relations before marriage regret it and wish they had waited. This sentiment is not limited to Christians. It is common among many people who realize over time that following what the Bible teaches can actually bring practical benefits. The negative effects of sex outside of marriage are evident. Even without religious beliefs, it is possible to observe the physical and emotional consequences of this practice. If everyone followed God's plan for sex, many sexually transmitted diseases would not exist. These diseases are not divine punishments, but natural consequences of disrespecting spiritual and physical laws. The Bible in Ecclesiastes 10.8 says that whoever digs a pit may fall into it, and whoever breaks through a wall may be bitten by a snake. This means that our actions have consequences. Thus, diseases like HIV arose not as divine punishment, but as a result of disobedience to the guidelines about sex. Beyond physical consequences, sex also affects the soul, an invisible yet vital part of us that represents our conscience, will, and emotions. The soul is what gives us life, and without it, the body is useless, like a car without a driver. The soul is eternal, and its condition after death depends on how we live on earth. It is crucial to understand that sex is not just a physical activity, but deeply involves the soul. The soul is responsible for our desires and decisions, and it is the one that determines our actions, including those related to sex. When we have sex, a hormone called oxytocin, known as the love hormone, is released, creating an emotional bond between the people involved. The Bible tells us that when two people unite sexually, they become one flesh, Mark 10, 7, 8. This means that sex unites people in a way that goes beyond the physical, binding them spiritually and emotionally. Every time you have sex with someone, you are sharing a part of yourself with that person and receiving a part of them. If that person has had other partners, you are also receiving parts of those other partners, which can lead to emotional and spiritual fragmentation. Having multiple sexual partners can lead to a sense of fragmentation and emotional instability. People may start to feel that they are losing a part of themselves and may become emotionally hardened. Additionally, each time you have sex with someone, you open yourself up to spiritual influences, both good and bad. The only way to ensure a positive spiritual exchange is when both partners are in a committed relationship with Christ. Outside of this, there is a risk of allowing negative influences into your life. The dangers of engaging in sexual relations outside of marriage are numerous and often have far-reaching repercussions that go beyond what we can perceive at first glance. Sex outside of marriage can lead to a series of negative consequences, including sexually transmitted diseases, unplanned pregnancies, and emotional complexities that can result in long-lasting trauma. Furthermore, it can cause significant emotional fragmentation, 
as each sexual relationship can leave a deep emotional impact, making it more difficult for a person to remain emotionally stable and healthy. When we engage in sexual relations with multiple partners, we create intimate bonds with each one of them. These bonds often complicate future relationships as we carry emotional and spiritual baggage from each previous partner. This can lead to a lack of trust, constant comparisons, and a sense of incompleteness, negatively affecting the ability to form deep and lasting connections in the future. On the other hand, remaining faithful to your partner within marriage is a choice that presents no known risks but countless advantages. By choosing to wait until marriage to have sexual relations, you are making a conscious decision to protect not only your physical health, but also your emotional and spiritual integrity. This choice allows you to build a relationship based on mutual trust, respect, and a genuine commitment to love and fidelity. The decision to wait until marriage to have sexual relations is a way of investing in your own emotional and spiritual well-being. By avoiding sexual relations outside of marriage, you spare yourself from possible feelings of guilt, regret, and sorrow that often accompany such experiences. You also protect yourself from the emotional confusion that can arise from multiple and non-committed intimate relationships. Furthermore, the most painful breakups are usually those that involve a sexual bond because sex is a profound expression of intimacy that uniquely binds two people. When this bond is broken, the emotional pain can be intense and prolonged, often leading to feelings of loss, betrayal, and abandonment. This pain can be avoided by waiting until marriage to form this intimate connection, ensuring that the sexual bond is an expression of a lasting and secure commitment. By choosing to wait until marriage, you are building a solid foundation for a union that is strengthened by fidelity and mutual trust. You protect your heart from unnecessary disappointments and sorrows, allowing yourself to enter marriage with a sense of completeness and readiness to share your life and love in an integral and meaningful way. In this way, you position yourself to live a full and gratifying relationship, in alignment with divine and spiritual principles that promote true happiness and harmony. Throughout this video, we have delved into a profound understanding of how sex is viewed from a divine and spiritual perspective, demystifying some modern conceptions and highlighting the seriousness and sanctity that God attributes to this act. Unlike the popular view that often reduces sex to a mere recreational activity, we emphasized that it is an expression of a powerful spiritual and emotional bond created by God to be appreciated exclusively within the confines of marriage. We have seen that sex, in addition to being a physical act, is a deep connection that involves the exchange of intimate and spiritual aspects between two people. When we stray from God's intended purpose for sex, the repercussions can be vast and lasting, affecting not only the body but also the soul and spirit. Understanding that sex outside of marriage can lead to emotional fragmentation, spiritual disturbances, and physical problems such as sexually transmitted diseases is crucial for us to re-evaluate our choices and strive to live according to divine principles. Reflecting on these truths invites us to consider the great value that God places on sexual purity and marital commitment. The Bible does not provide us with arbitrary commandments, but rather guidelines that protect us and promote our overall well-being. Living according to these principles is not only a way to please God, but also a way to build a more fulfilling life, free from regrets and complications arising from rash or contrary decisions to the divine plan. For those who may have strayed from this path at some point, it is essential to remember that God's grace and forgiveness are always available. It is never too late to repent and realign your life with God's purposes. He is always ready to offer a new chance and guide us back to His perfect will. This is an opportunity to renew our vows of purity and commitment, seeking in God the strength to live according to His designs. This message is not just for Christians, but for everyone seeking to understand and live a life with purpose and integrity. Recognizing the wisdom of the scriptures and the importance of sex in the right context can help us avoid the mistakes that so many others have made and build a life of healthy and meaningful relationships. 
When sex is appreciated within marriage, it becomes a blessing that strengthens the marital union and brings pleasure and joy as God intended. Therefore, I sincerely hope that this video has served as a beacon of guidance and inspiration for you. By embracing the divine principles for sex and relationships, you will be building a solid foundation for a life of blessings and peace. If you found value in this content, I encourage you to share it with friends, family, and anyone who may benefit from this transformative message. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos that continue to explore fundamental themes for our faith and well-being. Together we can grow in wisdom and live lives that reflect God's love and truth. Thank you for watching. May God richly bless you and see you in the next video.